What is going on you guys? I've got a print in the background, it might be a little bit noisy, but today we've got an amazing challenge to do. A client approached me just the other day asking me to make a pencil sharpener. No, not one of these 99 cent pencil sharpeners. The pencil sharpener we're making today is based off of this prototype. Yeah, I know, not very impressive. It's like someone took scrap from their pile, drilled a few holes and stuck a blade to it. But the purpose of this pencil sharpener today is very unique. It's not to sharpen a pencil, but it's to chew through a pencil. So my client here today is trying to go for the world record for the fastest time of sharpening 10 pencils all the way down to about five centimeters. So the final pencil length is about this long here. If we scroll to the world record, it sits at two minutes and three seconds for 10 pencils. So we're talking about 12 seconds per pencil to sharpen it from around 19 centimeters all the way down to five centimeters. So the goal here today is put my engineering brain to the focus and try to figure out the best mechanics of pencil sharpening or really pencil chewing to give him the best shot at the world record. So first I'm gonna talk you through the prototype. Then we're gonna go through the design. We're gonna print it and test it out. This piece of wood comes from a knife block. The client drilled a few holes through it, slapped on a blade with two screws and tried to jam pencils through it. Currently he's able to do pencils at around 15 seconds per pencil. I'm not gonna change the blade because this is a pretty good blade. It's a lot thicker than the ones that you see on pencil sharpeners. It's sharper and I think that this is a good choice in blade for this challenge. It's relatively inexpensive, maybe about $4 from what I've seen online. The way that he's attaching it, I'm also going to adopt that method using two screws because that gives us some adjustability and the angle of the blade to play around with. Now as for the angle of the plane of sharpening versus the hole that the pencil enters in, right now this sits at about a 45 degree angle. And I've been debating, this is one of the design changes I wanna make. I probably wanna go with around a 60 degree angle. So we're gonna make it a little bit sharper. And the reason is, if you make it sharper, you can chew through more pencil per rotation. Because if you think of it like the helix of a screw, if the spacing of a screw thread is further apart, then you need less turns to drive that screw in. However, the trade-off here is that you need more torque. So your arm is gonna be more tired or your drill battery is gonna heat up more and die quicker. Another thing that I'm gonna improve on this design is if you take a look at this pencil versus the whole length, this is the amount of pencil he has to grip onto at the very end. Maybe I can get two fingers on it, but barely two fingers. So we need to give him a bit more grip so that he can turn the pencil through with enough torque. Maybe we want three fingers to be able to touch this pencil at all times at the very end. So what I'm thinking we're gonna do is probably make a cutout here so that he can have more grip of the pencil. The last thing that I'm gonna improve upon is the ergonomics. So right now this is a block of wood, very chunky to grip, not very comfortable. And if you're shaving 10 pencils in under two minutes and you're trying this day after day to beat the world record, that can get a little bit fatiguing. So we're gonna make sure the grip is good for him and it doesn't obstruct any parts of the pencil sharpening mechanics. So now with that in mind, let's jump over the computer and get on to catting this. So it turns out that first iteration wasn't very good. I tried a second iteration that looked like this on the screen here, where I added an extra handle at the bottom, hoping that you could use a finger hold to get more torque. But the problem wasn't torque on the actual pencil sharpener itself, it was torque on the pencil. So I'm back to the drawing board thinking of new designs. I'm also looking at the calculations in terms of how many turns we need to make per second in order to sharpen 10 pencils from 190 millimeters all the way down to 50 millimeters. So we have about 140 millimeters of pencil to sharpen over 12 seconds. And I think the method is not actually turning by hand, but we're gonna have to do some sort of method where you rub the pencil between your hands. That way you can get more turns per action. Stay tuned for the next episode when I improve on this design and hopefully I can help my client beat that world record.